shelter dogs going on patrol with community service officers in Canyon City. Double takes are welcome because the new Paw Patrol is all about second looks for shelter dogs. <laughs> That's awesome. Bill Folsom taking a closer look at the Humane Society in Fremont County. He's just back from Canyon City, Bill. Yeah, going on five years now, new leadership took over at the Humane Society in Fremont County. There were promises of improvements. There's been a series of programs showing success. Starting today, Paw Patrol is a new unique push to get dogs adopted. Yeah. <laughs> a bruiser looking dog who is more of a buddy. Any chance I get to spend with these dogs is, is a plus. We're calling it Paws on Patrol. An officer with Canyon City Police saw law enforcement in another city featuring Humane Society dogs. It prompted the idea of picking up Dog of the Week to buckle up and ride along with a community service officer. Have them take the dog out for a day and we get some pictures of them, get them out on Facebook and then kind of help the shelter get, get some faces of some adoptable dogs out there. It gets them out, gets them noticed, gets them, you know, recognition. Cracker is the first adoptable dog on patrol. Millie, an already adopted yeah. shelter dog, yeah. goes out with her service yeah. officer owner as a tool for calming other dogs and to educate kids yeah. for other reasons. People asking about her is proof they want to know about dogs on patrol. They're meeting different people. Um, they can even get, you know, some a little bit of training throughout the day as, a, as they're with an officer. It's another element of training and socializing programs. A force of volunteers help. It occupies them. They have a little treat that they have to work a little bit to get. Then there's the pack walk team. Dozens of volunteers a day take shelter dogs down along the river for a walk and some one-on-one -on -one human to dog interaction. We're watching the numbers go down. You know, from when I started in 2014 to where they are right now, they're actually ticking down year by year and that's the way it should be. Volunteers who help at the shelter are also eyes, ears, and a voice in the community. They watch for issues and educate about important topics like spaying and neutering. And nothing would have happened if we didn't have the community behind us. That spay and neuter element, it is essential. Fremont County has a plan in the works to increase visits by a mobile spay and neuter clinic to once a month. Rob? Bill, great story.